Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is transaction control transformation. What is transaction control transformation? It is active and connected transformation. Transaction control transformation allows us to commit or roll back the transactions during the execution of mapping. Commit and rollback operations are important one for the availability of the data. While processing the huge volume of the data, there can be situation when to commit the data to the target. In order to prevent the data loss, we need to commit the data at regular intervals. But if we commit the data frequently, it will lead to performance related issues. That means overhead will be more at the server level, the processes will, the processes will create the performance issues okay now we are going to see how we are going to handle this transaction control transformation in a mapping here I am having one sample data in Oracle database that is the customer table which contains details of the customer and we are going to generate the state wise customer details that means here uh, it contains detail for different state and we need to separate it by state wise what we are going to do with the help of the transaction control we will see it now already I have created one map M dynamic target file split and uh, here in this map uh, sorter transformation expression transformation and uh, we have got the transaction control transformation here the sorter transformation is used to sort the data based on the state code and in the state we are setting the sort key and uh, change it to ascending and this sorted data is passed to the expression transformation in expression transformation we need to add four ports one is for generating the file name other is to check whether we need to generate the new file or not this is the new file flag based on this a new file will be generated otherwise everything will be written into the old file here state is stored in the variable port v state here we are comparing state is equal to v state then we are setting the flag as n that means no otherwise y s yes. that means if state is the same state both the codes are same one there is no need to generate the new file everything will be written into the same file so this file flag is passed to the con transaction control transformation transaction control transformation can be created by clicking this one this is the icon for that by clicking this you can easily create the transaction control transformation as I've already created there is no need to create a new one and uh, here there is one property called transaction control condition what is the purpose of it actually it contains four built-in variables to handle the operation that is TC continue transaction TC commit before commit after roll back before and roll back after now we are going to see only two built-in variables TC continue transaction and TC commit before here what happens is if the new file flag is equal to yes means then we are committing the old records that means here what what it says the commit is performed before processing the current row that means the the previous things will be committed and new file will be opened Continue transaction means here continue transaction what is the meaning of this continue transaction that means the process of data load continue as it is it will load the data in the current file as it is there is no need to open a new file okay now already I created the workflow in workflow we need to set the path for the customer file here the target is only one, one one file only even though we generates multiple file dynamically here we need to set only one target and that file uh, path need to be set here okay and you generate one file actually you'll see what, what is generating okay. and it's running now we have to check in the path it has got succeeded here 
two files got generated one is for karnataka other one is for tn and customer file dot out is there time is 10 14 am the uh, here the time is 10 14 only so it generates the two files and two f and tn it contains only one row the customer name is kalyan it's available over here and it generated correctly and uh, the other uh, file should contains two rows okay then it contains two rows so the result what we got is right and it generates one more file zero byte file that there is no need to bother about that so using this transaction control we are able to uh, generate the files dynamically there are so many usages for this transaction control you can test yourself you can work out the complicated things by yourself thanks bye